Hey guys, so this is like the third video I've filmed today, but because I'm snowed in and there's a lot of natural lighting because I'm actually home all day on a day when it's not dreary and gloomy and dark, I can do this. So they won't all go up at the same time, but hey. So this video I wanted to film focusing on things I'm loving on my iPhone and what's on my iPhone and uh, iPhone cases that I have. Let's get started. I'm trying really hard to look at the lens and not that screen, but I'm so bad at that. Uh, so right now, this is the case that I have on my iPhone. It is just this like really pretty pink Mandela pattern. Um, I got it off Amazon. This is actually the first case I got for this phone, but I bought it a second time because the first one got really dingy and gross after like a year and a half of use. So it was like $9. It was like the first case I got because I just needed a case. Um, I have the like sand color, which I still think is kind of rose goldy, eight plus. Still mad that they got rid of the actual rose gold because I mean, like, this is my 6S and how gorgeous is this color? I know you all know what it looks like, but like, that's gorgeous. I love it. I love the pink and then you get this and I'm like, I mean, I want this, but I wanted the eight pluses camera. <laughs> so that's why I have this. So that's one case. It looks like this normally. Um, I also have, I don't ever use this one, but I thought it was really cool. It looks like a Taylor Swift guitar, the Taylor guitar that I have, but it's not very protective. Um, so that's why I don't really use this case ever, but I just think it's cute because I love Taylor Swift. This is another one that I don't think is protective enough. I just ordered the wrong style off the website. You can order different ones. So Casetify is like my favorite place to get phone cases. And I ordered this really, really cute London pattern one. Um, but I ordered the very cheap case, which is not as protective. It's like, doesn't cover all the way. So, yeah, someday maybe I'd like to go back and get that again, but like in a more protective case. Um, I also got this Kate Spade one, which looks like that. My only complaint about this case is you get fingerprints everywhere. It is fingerprint central with that case and it drives me insane. Um, another case to find one. This is their most protective grade one and I do really like the case. It's very pretty, um, but I got a ballet pattern. It is already getting a little dingy though, unfortunately, from putting it in my jean pocket. I can't stand that, because like, some of my cases do that and some don't. My other case to find one, I love it, but that's the whole reason I don't use it anymore, because it's so dingy now and I can't clean it, but it's so pretty. But like, the edges are like blue and stuff and it bothers me, so. I haven't been using it as much. Um, sadly, I already gave away a couple of my cases, so I have a case problem. I bought this Otterbox one thinking it was amazing and it's so huge that I like couldn't stand it, but I did put a pop socket on it, but I don't know if I like it. So the case by itself looks kind of like that, but then I put this Disney pop socket on it that I had and I'm like, I mean, it works because the case is so huge and my phone is so huge that I need that. I honestly never use this case though because it makes my phone huge. So this one I love. This is from Pixie Cases, I think. Um, and it is, they do a lot of Disney phone cases and I love her cases. They're so good quality. They are so protective. They're cute patterns and they don't get discolored from my jeans. So this is the living in fantasy land East coast version. I wanted to buy her other ones too, but I'm like, I don't need another one. I don't. Um, this was another really cheap Amazon case. It is getting a little dingy now. It's just a pink sparkle one. And then I put a pop socket on it. So it just looks like that. I don't know if you can see the sparkle. And then I put the Reputation pop socket from Taylor Swift on it, so. Um, yeah. And then the last case, this is my other fave. I love the Apple, like, simple sand colored case, or in my opinion, pink. I did put a pop socket on it because, I mean, I had this cool dance pop socket and I didn't know what to put it on, but I think it actually looks pretty nice on there. It says, forget your troubles and dance. Sometimes I don't love having pop sockets because I can't like sit my phone flat, but it is convenient for things like needing to take pictures or doing stuff with two hands, whatever. Um, so then the cool thing I got for Christmas, it is not a case. So like I'm gonna put a case back on this so you can see how it works even with the case. Just put the one I'm using on it. Um, it does not work with pop socket on a case. So it has to be like a flat case. Um, but I got this thing that's called Pictar. Um, I haven't used it a whole lot yet, but it's really cool. It like basically turns your phone kind of into more of an advanced camera. It does have a tripod slot on the bottom, so you literally could use it like that. It looks like half a camera kind of, so you like slide your phone into it. Um, so actually I don't think you slide it. I think you're supposed to like open it up and like it expands. So 
Um, there we go. So it sits in like this. So it looks like that. There is an app that you then open that I've already downloaded. So open the Pictar app. So you open the app, it opens its own camera thing. And then from there, you can do all these settings. You can put it in full manual. You can do like, you've got shutter release up here. You've got buttons back here that change things. You've got this. This also changes to selfie mode if you hit it like twice, like so. Just hitting that button. It's in selfie mode right now because I'm aiming the other way. There we go. Um, you can do all sorts of things with this and just make it much more manual. Like I can easily, you can change settings. Like it's like, I don't know what that water stands for. Oh. But like you've got video, you've got macro, you've got, sorry, it's not showing you. People running. <laughs> I know what that means. Manual, uh, shutter speed, all those things. It is really cool. Um, so I just haven't gotten to use it much yet, but um, cause it is a little bulky to carry around on my camera. It does though, like with the case on, without the case, I'm not so confident about using this thing by itself. And it does have little straps that you can attach to it too, but it's very like secure with my case on it. Like it is not going anywhere. So that's good. Um, so that's that. Now, as far as on my phone, things that I am loving at the moment, um, I love this background that I put on here, this like painted pink rose. I don't know. I just think it looks really cool. <laughs> um, then my actual background is like a very girly thing. Um, so, but my favorite things I'm loving on my phone right now, I am loving Lightroom and Lightroom presets because I'm not good at knowing how to make those edits on my own. I've actually just been starting to shoot more in manual and in raw on my camera, which if you shoot in raw, you can do a lot more post editing and your iPhones let you edit raw photos, um, which is awesome in Lightroom. So um, the Lightroom app, this is like my home screen of apps right now. Um, but the Lightroom app, so clearly I was editing a photo of my friends, um, but like, let me find a good one here. Like this one I took at my friend's wedding last night, like that's her grandma's bracelet she gave her, but like if I hit the, that's what it looked like before, it was very yellow, red and pink and then I edited it. And that was just with a preset and I've got a ton of those presets, so that one's been awesome. Um, I've also... I mean, I've just been using like Instagram's my favorite. I have way too many Instagram accounts. I have six. You can only have five logged in at a time, but I have six. <laughs> um, like most of y'all follow, follow my ballet accounts. It's my ballet one. And then if you were to want to follow it, you can follow my Disney one, which is this one. Oh, hang on. That is not it. <laughs> that is my Disney one. Um, and then I've got so I've got a bunch more in there for all different reasons. But, um, and I've got a Taylor Swift one that I don't really use anymore. I used it at one point and I, I, I didn't want to delete it, but I just was like, eh, I don't really use it. So I just logged out. Um, let's see what else. I, there's not a whole lot. My favorite other editing app is called You Can Perfect. Cause like if my skin's doing something weird, if honestly, if I feel like I look really not great in something and I just need to slim myself down in a picture, you can use that. Um, I use iMovie to edit videos. I am not willing to pay for Final Cut Pro. <laughs> I'm only just now probably going to start paying for Lightroom, which I know is annoying, but like I use it enough. Um, something else I'm loving music wise. So I do a lot of listening to music at work. Um, but I just started listening to a lot of college acapella groups and their music. Like I've had a few on there for a long time, but I just recently got into like, I bought $30 worth of college acapella songs this week. So like, here's a bunch of them. And they sometimes I think sound even better than the original. So I suggest checking them out and there's so much more than even that. Um, but that's been really awesome and um, everything else on here is pretty standard stuff you use all the time. I mean, I can't think of anything else here that's super unique or original that you guys wouldn't have heard of. Oh, that's another one. Okay, that's another good one. Sorry. Daily Motion, this one up here, which is like a UK based one, I think. Randomly has a lot of episodes and things of TV shows that I can't find anywhere else. Like I can't find them on Netflix, can't find them on Hulu, can't find them on Amazon, on YouTube, 
they're on Daily Motion UK. Like S Club 7, I still love that and I still watch it. Or the college acapella show Sing It On that I was watching is all of it's on there. Um, I think there's even one called Pitch Slap that I was wanting to watch that's another acapella thing. That's on there. So um, just good to know. That's all I've got for you today. So hopefully that was enjoyable and I will see you guys later. Let me know down below if there's anything that you are loving for your iPhone, phone, whatever, like apps, things you're loving, uh, tech gear for them. Yeah, just let me know. And I will see you in my next video. If you liked these, then please subscribe and that way you can see more videos. I am terrible at this still. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>